Hello, I'm Mike from MusicRadioCreative.com. This video is especially for Joseph Brown, who sent in a question. When you're making audio productions, is it all about the bass? Hmm, yeah, you're driving along in the car, you hear a great tune, you turn it up, and you want the bass to be really loud, right? Uh, maybe you go to the cinema and you see those trailers, you hear those epic booms and whooshes, and you think, wow, that is bass, right? So is audio production, is good audio production all about bass? Let's find out in Adobe Audition right now. So here we are in the waveform view. I've loaded in a few music beds. Let's have a listen to this one. You can hear the uh, the tinny hi-hat there. You can hear a little bit of bass crunch as well, which is very nice, and a huge amount of mid-range. Now, on a video that I'll load onto my Mike Russell VIP channel, I'll show you exactly how to analyze the frequencies of a song or a music track. Let's listen to this one. Again, very tinny, you can hear lots of high in that song. Okay, this one's got loads of bass, so let's go into the effects menu, and we'll go for filter and EQ. I love the FFT filter almost as much as I love the parametric equalizer, and certainly for this purpose, for uh, honing in on certain frequencies, it can really help. So let's use that right now. Um, what I'm also going to need to do is make sure that I reduce the volume of that track a little bit, because when I add EQ, it's going to increase the volume quite considerably. And let's move the bass up. So remember the original sound. And now bass under 100 hertz up to full. Whoa. That's huge. If you're listening on speakers, it's probably blowing off the uh, the bass woofers. And if you're listening in headphones, I feel sorry for you. Let's bring it up just a bit more, smidge more. That's all bass, isn't it? Then I can maybe even roll off the treble. So you get a real in-the-nightclub feel. Let's apply that now. And we've got a very bassy bed. In fact, so bassy, it's, it's clipping a little bit there. So bring it down. Beauty of working in 32 bits is you can't really max out the sound of a waveform. So let's go into multi-track, a new untitled session, and drag that music bed onto uh, the wonderful, colorful multi-track in Adobe Audition CC. Let's go for pink here. And I'm going to arm a track, track one to record, and make sure that my microphone, uh, this one here, is selected as a mono input. I think it's Sapphire Input 2. Hello. Yes, it is. Okay. I'm going to bring the audio down on that just a little bit, and I'm going to try and do a promo. This week in cinemas, the brand new movie starring you. Okay. And let's listen back to that now with no effects or compression on it. So remember, lots of bass is making good audio production all about just ramping up the bass. Let's try. This week in cinemas, the brand new movie starring you. Now, you know, I don't know about you, but I find it hard to listen to the voice when there's a huge amount of bass in your face. Let's try ramping up the bass on the voice and see if that makes a difference. Or is it going to sound absolutely awful? FFT filter, uh, bass up, treble off, the same as the music bed. This week in cinemas. In fact, let's even add more bass and take away loads and loads of treble and mid as well. This week in cinemas, the brand new movie starring you. Now it sounds like I'm talking through a sock. Do you know what? Actually, I could talk through a sock if I just get my uh, lovely sock out there. And uh, But no, it probably would not be a good idea, would it? So obviously, uh, working with loads of bass is not a great idea. And in fact, when I'm working with a voiceover, I might actually decide to go the other way and roll off the bass so that the voice can crisply cut across any music bed. Filter and EQ, scientific filter is really, really good for this. In fact, I go for a default here, drop off below 250 hertz. This week in cinemas, the brand new movie starring you. So actually, uh, bass might be a good idea on your music bed, although I do still find that quite overpowering on that track. This week in cinemas. But you can hear how rolling the bass off on a voiceover can actually improve the cleanliness, the crispness of the voice, and the ability for it to cut through any music track. So Joseph Brown and anyone else who's thinking of adding bass to their audio production to make it sound better, the answer is doesn't always make your audio productions sound a whole lot better. Now go over to my Mike Russell VIP channel where I have uploaded a video especially for you if you're a subscriber to that channel and you can find out how to analyze the frequencies, the audio, the bass, the mid-range and the highs in any track you want to and take the specific action you need to to make that track sound great.